as you see, we have four bags numbered, not surprisingly, number one, number two, number three, and number four. Right. Under one of these bags is something very harmless, very innocent. In a moment, you're going to end up selecting one of these bags at random. I'm going to bravely plunge my hand down through the top, and I'm going to place in your hands whatever that is inside. Okay. In three of these is something that you really really don't want me sticking in your hands. In fact, I don't even want to be sticking my hands down in the bag. And, I'm uh, glad at you. I promised a few people that I would show the audience here what is under some of these bags, but I'm not allowed to show you two. So you're going to have to promise me when I say go, I a quick know. about face, yeah. so that they can see, but you can't. I'll Cindy tell you Cindy or just around. myself? No, Cindy and I can do it. You okay. two, turn around. I All have right. to turn around? Turn around. Mm -hmm. Adam. Just so that right. everybody Adam. has an idea. Come on, come on. Come on was flopping around in some of these bags. Okay, you can turn around now. Now, what we're going to do, Donnie, is test your ability to sense danger. Okay. She's going to hold one of these envelopes out under your hand, and all you have to do is tell me whether you think it's a dangerous envelope or a safe envelope. Okay. All hold right. one under his hands. Under my hand. Dangerous or safe? Back. Back. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Just go with your first hunch. Your okay, first it's hunch. not dangerous. Uh, this is not dangerous. is not dangerous. Okay, in that case, Marie, we've jumped to the front of the line. If you would just set the rest of those down there. Because the one that you think is not dangerous is, without a doubt, the one that I'm going to end up sticking my hand into, oh, regardless of what is there. Cindy, would you do me an honor? Please take it out, and we will... F okay, number three. All right. Um, not the most intuitive person I've ever met, Donnie. <laughs> Uh, Funny, that's a Rio. Uh, hold out both of your hands. <laughs> hold out both of your hands just like this. Honestly, Donnie, if your intuition has been sound, then you'll get a handful of something totally cute and innocent. Okay. But if your intuition is not so sound, wait, 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 we'll wait, wait, find wait, wait, out. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 Take a good close look. <laughs> Donnie, let you me show what? you. Let me show you what would have happened. You know how stupid I feel right now. Let me show you what would have happened if you'd picked any one of these oh, other come envelopes. On. You gotta be kidding me. Would you like yeah, to have had a handful real. of one of those? No, yeah, thank real. you very much, Christopher. Thank you for picking number three. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, buddy.